There's hope these chairs will fill up tonight with people searching for a place to call home. They're pretty good at being invisible. They'll couch surf, they'll go from friend to friend. Scott Hanauer works with Community Youth Services in Tacoma. He says it's hard to know just how many young people are homeless in the city. You learn to um, depend on yourself more than ever, I guess. Those are young people like 19-year-old Daniel Schleen, who has been homeless for eight months. Tonight, he and others are here to learn more about spaces for homeless youth to access services and sleep. It is a temporary solution. We are still looking for the permanent location for the overnight shelter. Pam Duncan with the city of Tacoma says starting March 1st, homeless youth will be able to come here to the Beacon Senior Center in Tacoma from 5 o'clock to 9 o'clock p.m. to drop in for food and water. At 9 p.m. it will turn into an overnight shelter. Right now, this allows for those services to be under one roof. While city leaders hope it will make it easier for young people in the city, homeless youth hope it will open the doors for more spaces for people like them. Maybe like more, um, more day centers, I guess, mm -hmm. more places to go during the day. While the city searches for a permanent building, they're also hoping for more input from the community during the process. It really means a lot to us that you came here tonight. In Tacoma, Jenna Hanchard, King 5 News.